how to adjust the colors of a clip inside Premiere Pro 2024. Let's just drag and drop a video onto the timeline. Come here to Window, Lumetri Color, and this window shows up. You can close this Lumetri Color from this one and close panel. And another way to open it is to come to this one which is called Workspaces and click on Color. So the other was Lumetri Color, this is just Color. And you have the same window here. Now here we have the Basic Correction and the Creative. You can open it by clicking on it and close it. So Basic Correction has White Balance, Contrast, Highlights, Shadows, Saturation and so on. There is a Saturation in Creative also. Open that creative and you have the saturation, which is very similar to vibrance. Basic correction. You can drag these circles to the right or to the left. To the right is much more saturated, it's colorful. To the left is less saturated, it's black and white. You can reset these sliders back to the center by simply double clicking on these circles, like so. You can drag the numbers also and move them to the left and to the right. Move to the left, move to the right. And you can simply click on the number once and type in the default value for the saturation that was 100 and press enter. And that also resets it back. For example, shadow will make the dark areas brighter or the dark areas darker. And you can reset everything from this reset button. Plus, there is this automatic function which will automatically make an adjustment using these sliders. Auto. You have to wait a few moments. And those are the modifications. And let's just reset it back. By the way, if you make a modification here on this Lumetri color window, let's say that one then Lumetri Color appears here also. You can use this FX button to disable or to re-enable the modification. Let's make it much more visible. So click on this FX button to enable or to disable the modification. If you delete this Lumetri Color, right click on it and clear, then all these modifications will disappear. Clear. Lumetri color is gone from here and everything returned to its original state. So if you make a modification here, the Lumetri color will show up here. Increase the saturation, Lumetri color appeared. And that has here at basic correction the saturation increase. So you can use this and you can use that one also. If you drag another clip onto the timeline, let's say that one, and you make a modification for the first clip, then when you go to the next clip, that clip does not have that modification. This is modified, this is unmodified. If you want to apply the modification to multiple clips, then you can modify it. I use an extreme value so that it's visible. You can right click on it and copy it and go to the next clip and don't use paste which is not even available here but use paste attributes and Lumetri color has to be checked which one is checked that will be copied okay go over the next clip and that one also contains that exposure modification let's just reset this one reset the previous clip also Another way to apply the same modification is to use this project window. If this is not here, but something else is there, let's say that one selected, then go on to Window, Project, that project, and the same window shows up. Come to this icon, which is New Item, click on Adjustment layer, just accept it with OK, drag this Adjustment layer, on top of your clip. Now grab the end, you can be further away and you can still grab it. Pull it over the clips that you want to modify. Now don't select the clip itself but select the adjustment layer. 
and if you make a modification there, let's say that one, then notice, although the second clip is not modified, here is still modified because the adjustment layer is above it. If I remove the adjustment layer from there, notice it's not modified. If I pull it over it, then it is modified. So that's how to apply the modification to multiple clips on the timeline.